All right, everyone, the Youngstown State football team hopes to snap a 16 game road losing streak at North Dakota this Saturday. The Penguins hope a new venue against a new opponent brings new results. It's the first game between the Penguins and North Dakota since 1962. YSU is riding a two game losing streak. The Fighting Hawks are three and five overall and one and four in the conference. Uh, they're very feisty, they scratch and, uh, scratch and claw. So we're going to have to do a good job of matching their intensity the whole game. This is not a team that's just a pushover uh, just because their record doesn't show uh, what they're capable of. But um, they're definitely a team that is not just going to let you run over them. Uh, so we're going to have a, a tough battle this weekend. For us, it's going to a new place. Never been to Grand Forks. You know, Youngstown State's never played in that arena. So look forward to getting on the road and, and discovering a, a new place to play football. And it'll be a battle, and we got to make sure our young men are ready to play. The Penguins nor any other team practiced today due to an NCAA mandated day off due to Election Day. Phillips added Demetria Crenshaw and Joe Craycraft were back on the field earlier. They all practiced yesterday, uh, all three of them, um, but it gives a day today where, you know, an off day means they can still go to the training room, they can still do rehab and get ready for a Tuesday practice. So it kind of pushed that day back so that we can go in tomorrow and really evaluate where we are. You know, if Demetria can go and is healthy, he, he's going to roll, and if he can't, we, we have other guys that can step up and have faith in those guys being able to do it. 